Today is the second video in a series of videos where we will be going through pre-registration style questions for the GPHC pharmacy exam. So we went through a previous question, which was an infection chapter related question. This is also an infection chapter related question. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, my name is Yasser. I'm a senior lecturer in pharmacy practice and I'm also a specialist antimicrobial pharmacist in secondary care. I run an Instagram page uh, for pharmacy and medicine students and the link for this Instagram page will be in the description box. So with regards to this question, Mr. Smith is a 33 year old patient. He's diagnosed with mild cellulitis and he has a penicillin allergy and develops a rash when he takes penicillin. Which of the following antibiotics would be the most suitable option for Mr. Smith? A. Ticoplanin B. Flucloxacillin C. Doxycycline D. Vancomycin E. Metronidazole So you've got a few options to go for. A. Ticoplanin Ticoplanin is licensed for the treatment of cellulitis, but it's licensed for moderate to severe cases of cellulitis, and here we specifically know that Mr. Smith has mild cellulitis. B, you've got flucloxacillin. Flucloxacillin would be the first line option for mild cellulitis in a lot of trusts, as well as in the NICE guidance. The reason why you can't go for it is because he has a penicillin allergy and flucloxacillin is an example of a penicillin. Then you've got doxycycline, vancomycin and metronidazole. Doxycycline can be used for the treatment of cellulitis, particularly mild cellulitis. So it covers all the organisms that could be causing cellulitis, particularly Staphylococcus aureus or beta hemolytic streptococci. So it covers these organisms. And then we've got vancomycin. Vancomycin provides, uh, it's a glycopeptide, just like tycoplanin, uh, provides coverage with regards to, provides good uh, gram-positive coverage. But again, vancomycin wouldn't be used for a case of mild cellulitis. And then we've got metronidazole, providing you uh, more of an anaerobic coverage. So it provides you anaerobic coverage. Uh, that's not required in this case for cellulitis. Um, it's not a common organism, uh, an anaerobe is not a common organism causing cellulitis and therefore you wouldn't be using metronidazole. So really the most appropriate options for any case of cellulitis regardless of severity is tycoplanin, flucloxacillin, doxycycline. For a mild case, flucloxacillin, doxycycline. Because of the penicillin allergy, you can't give flucloxacillin. That's why the correct answer is doxycycline for Mr. Smith's case. If you enjoy any of these questions, I do have question packs available on microfarm.org, which will be in the description box. And the affordable question packs and mock exams available on the website, as well as study guides. I hope you found this useful. If you did find this video useful, like the video and do subscribe.